Is it real? It's big. Weighing in at one and a half tons and measuring 48 feet, they call it Titanoboa. Titanoboa literally means the Titanic snake. The mammoth snake slithered on Earth 60 million years ago. This was the largest predator on the planet for about 10 million years after the extinction of the dinosaurs. Titanoboa gummy snakes celebrating the biggest snake ever discovered. A replica of this sizable serpent was unveiled at New York City's Grand Central Station, ahead of the Smithsonian Channel's Titanoboa documentary. When we initially found the bones of Titanoboa, I did not recognize it as a snake. Um, I thought maybe it was some kind of strange crocodile. It really was the scale that threw me off. University of Florida scientist Jonathan Block and his team hit prehistoric gold in a Colombian coal mine. They unearthed turtle shells the size of dinner tables and dusted off vertebrae and skull pieces of a snake longer than a school bus. Clues to a supersized and super scalding past. The only way to get a snake this size is to increase the temperature substantially. And, uh, and that's an interesting observation because uh, it would actually have, have to have been so warm. This discovery was years in the making and cost some scientists a little more than they bargained for. Oh, I was uh, bit in the leg by a, by a 10 foot long anaconda. 10 feet is a really small snake compared to what Titanobo would have been. So I, I really gained a new respect for a predator of this size. Onlookers in New York City agree. I mean, I'm a big guy and uh, I stand no chance next to something like that. If Titanobo were alive today, I think a human being would just be a snack, an, an afterthought. Um, it probably could have dealt with a cow pretty, pretty easily. A reality that's hard to stomach. Adriana Diaz, CBSNews.com.